Welcome back. We got our uh, round one set up. Uh, on the left we have Trey, and he's playing the, the new Ray from the starter set with uh, regular Luke. And then Bridget is playing good old Palpatine. Yep. Uh, excited to see some of these new cards uh, come mm. out of uh, this two-player starter. Uh, I know not everybody in the Houston area was able to get them. A lot of our stores didn't get the deliveries in time. Right. Actually, I don't think any of the, the local game stores did. It was only Target was the yeah, only place Tar you could get Target it. was the only place you could get it. So, um, What do you think about that new Ray, Justin? So the new Ray is... Ray, Finding the Ways, uh, 11 health, 12, 15 cost. After you activate this character, if she has one or more shields, you may deal one damage to a character. So that's pretty interesting. I, I still think there's a bit of a point disparity between the, the villain and the hero characters as far as power level. But um, I think Qui-Gon found a about, new friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Qui-Gon will be pretty good with the new Ray, but um, their points don't add up quite yeah, as well yeah, as the old Ray. not quite um, as good. So. But um, as we'll see, see uh, Trey was talking a little bit about his deck before, and I was talking about how I think that old Ray with Qui-Gon is going to be really good with some of the cards that Some of the new, here. new weapons. And, and, right, uh, the new uh, weapon, the cards, new uh, yeah. Ray's lightsaber, and um, there's a, a sport uh, called Luke's Protection. Uh, Ray's lightsaber is so good, Justin. Uh, possibly, you can make an argument that it could possibly be the best three cost weapon in the game as of now um three damage sides um redeploy and if you play it on race she gets two shields if you play it on anybody else they get one shield that's um pretty good if you ask me for uh i, I personally think it's better than the generic lightsaber so um and i'm sure that's probably in trey's deck seeing i was playing mono blue so um, on the right, we have Bridget playing Palpatine. Now, Palpatine is strong. He uh, is. He, he definitely is. We were playing just before <clears throat> this, and there was two games in a row where <laughs> I god-rolled 10 damage turn one. And, <clears throat> uh, yeah, Palpatine, sometimes he just does insane things if your opponent can't remove his dice. All right, so it looks like uh, Bridget wins the roll-off. She takes her battlefield, which is uh, Autogunga, so she's looking to heal. Do you think and, that's uh, the right choice since, uh, I mean... I mean it's deceiving because it Ray's across the table, and typically you think of Ray decks as being yeah. the ultra fast ones. But, action cheating. But this this Ray deck is not going to be very action cheating. Um, I'll be honest, I did not see the battlefield Trey brought, so I can't. I he can't brought say Obi Wan's hut. Obi Wan's hut. The and that's new, the, the one, new one. That's the one that um, where it lets you uh, give a character a shield or spend a resource to give a non-blue character a shield. Right. Okay. So, um, kind of. I think you take. Auto Gunga there if you're Bridget and you win that roll off because getting a shield helps you but it helps them more. Right. So getting a shield on Palpatine's side is the same as healing one damage. So So right away we saw mm. uh Trey playing one of the new cards. It was a distraction, uh which reads choose two dice, then your opponent opponent must remove one of those dice. Uh so he chose both the Palpatine dice obviously. So it it's kind of a better Overconfidence? I don't know. Yeah. Um, well, it just, it depends on what they roll, I guess. Uh, I mean, I will say Blue Hero definitely needed more out of hand control options. Yeah, and it doesn't. You know, overconfidence gives them to the the option to re roll into something just as good as well. It, yes. So, um, I do like overconfidence being able to mess mess them up sometimes on uh, di multiple dice. Yeah. But. Um. But like I said, out of hand dice removal for for blue hero was definitely needed. So, so Trey dis is discarding reroll and he gets almost the exact same thing. Is that double discard? Double discard on Ray. Man, this looks like an this looks like old Ray. Yeah. <laughs> um, I do think her. I think I do think this new Ray's dice are better than the old Ray's dice personally. Um, but he's not having much luck with it right now. So. <laughs> so Bridget went ahead and played trust your instincts, probably just to. Maybe she didn't have any mitigation in her hand, and she was just trying, trying to, to get, get dig, some card dig through her yeah. deck. Um, and now keep in mind, Bridget, okay, got to tell you honestly, guys, that, that Bridget is my daughter. Uh, I taught her to play Saturday. Uh, so she is, uh, I'm sorry, Friday. So she is still a newborn in the Destiny world. Uh, she picked and it up man, quite well, Ray though. is loving that discard. <laughs> Looks like she got a shield as well, but. Um, so, yeah, she's still a newer player. You know, she's still figuring out. Um, trying to figure out best place she doesn't know all the characters so she's doing what she can 
So she can drop a Power of the Dark Side here. Um, Power of the Dark Side, that's an interesting card for a Palpatine deck. Um, the reason I like it in there, um, I've seen it finish out games with your Holocrons on the board and stuff, uh, and it does give you a free reroll. Now, a lot of people don't like it because it slows down a little bit, the two resource cost on it. I think Trey needs to check his dice. He's yeah, really blow those discard. off or something. <laughs> so many times. So, um, I hope I really hope there's not a, a product defect in the new. Yeah, they're waited. <laughs> that would be horrible. So he does hit hit Bridget Shields there. It looks like Bridget's already claimed, and then he's gonna hit her with a discard. And she lost uh, Power of the Dark Side, and I don't know what the other one was. I, I don't was think hidden. she's probably not too angry about that. Uh, two Power of the Dark Sides definitely probably overkill. So, um, especially against the. Uh, Luke Ray deck that's not discard heavy. Yeah. I mean, he... Uh, we, well, he, unless you're we, rolling we like see, Trey. I mean. Well, we, <laughs> we could see a, a Close Quarters Assault come out. Yeah. And Trey Trey does build those decks. You know, he, he he's a very good deck builder. So, no guns on Bridget's side. Uh, that two discard. I really like that two discard on Palpatine. Though. Oh, yeah. It's one of his best sides. Two discard and take two damage. Eat that, you know. All right, and rolling so, that four speed special. There it is. There we go. Ray's lightsaber coming down. Mm -hmm. Unique upgrade weapon. Two damage. Three two damage shields. for a resource. Plus two damage. One shield. One resource. Has redeploy. And after you play it, give attached character one shield or two shields if attached character yeah. is ready. Ray just shielded herself up. So what do you think about these new cards that's coming out that are linked to a specific character? Um... I don't know what to think about that. A at least it's not uh, most. Of well, I know like Phasma's rifle is only redeploy if if, you if it's played on Phasma. Um, but like at least with Ray, if you don't play Ray's lightsaber on Ray, your character's still getting a shield off of it, and it's just a really good weapon to to begin with. So, um, so Ray activated there, and because she has a shield on her, Bridget had to deal a damage to Palpatine. Yeah, per Ray's the, the new Ray ability. So, and looks like he's got shields showing, but, um... So, Bridget going ahead and hard casting a force push. I mean, if you got the money, you use it. Might as well, if you don't have a holocron in your hand. Although, that does leave her vulnerable to anything the Trey rolls. Yeah, she's... As she, I, I did see she was running Doubt earlier, um, but the only other zero cost she had was uh, Manipulate, but yeah. she doesn't have a dice to do that. So, and it looks like Trey's getting pretty frustrated oh, with his man. rolls, and I don't blame More him. More discard on Ray. I do not blame him at all. And a so, shield on her lightsaber. You think giving her her lightsaber would make her more powerful? Yeah, uh, at least give her a confidence boost. Maybe roll a little <laughs> bit better for you. <laughs> now, the, the shields are not terrible to take. I mean, eventually you do need to start outputting the damage, but... Shields are never bad against Palpatine. Because no. no matter what he's resolving, he's doing damage. So That's why and shield and so resource good again. That. Oh, you can, yeah, you can definitely tell tell Trey Trey's frustrated right now. So, um, so he decides to just take the resources. I don't know what he still has in hand. Looks like Bridget's gonna claim. Yeah, Bridget claimed healed one damage from the battlefield, and we're gonna start the next turn. So, yeah, Trey visibly frustrated, and I can't blame him. Um, not at all. I had that, for instance, yesterday playing Snap Solo. I just could not roll damage to finish off the new Phasma to save my life. So it definitely does get frustrating. So here's where it's interesting, though. Bridget is a new player trying to figure out what she wants to discard. Um, knowing what she wants to have in her hand at this point in the game, um, you know, that's definitely rough for a newer player, especially when you haven't seen a lot of the decks out there. So, um, but, you know, so far she's doing good. You know, of course, Palpatine. It doesn't autopilot itself by any means, but oh, exactly. Um, I don't. I don't think any deck autopilots itself in Destiny. But Palpatine can still put that damage out there, even even if you're a newer player. So, it looks like she drops a lure of power. Uh, so your eyes can deceive you, uh, coming down on Trey's side. Um, that was a that's a one cost support, and whenever one of his dice rolls a shield, he can turn an opponent's die to any side or to a blank. Uh, I believe it's to any side. I believe. Not a card you see a whole lot. Um, and obviously, the the heroes with their the supports in Spirit of Rebellion, their supports were not nearly as powerful as the villains, but um, it's still very useful, especially since 
Trey does have a, a shield sight on every single one of the dice he has on the board at the moment. So Trey's oh. going to go ahead and bring out yeah, a deflect. Going to deflect one of those Palpatine die. Good move. Uh, what do you think about lure power and Palpatine? Now that's been that's been argued back and forth quite a bit. Um, you know, you can't hit it with a holocron, but I think we talked about it two weeks ago, and I told you that I don't like it. Well, see, she just for got that, for that reason three discard made made Trey discard the rest of his hand there with that lure of power, but there's definitely a lot of value in it. But I never had resources for it. The only the only way that I would ever play lure of power on Palpatine is if I played rise again to get it back on him so Ray, and even then i'd rather just get a force lightning yeah you know? so ray finally rolls a damage but still he only has one damage showing on that side um man so bridget discarded trace hold hand, whole hand but we see uh, luke's ability coming in clutch there where he's able to draw a card which will let him re-roll and he he needs to start pushing some damage because Palpatine is starting to get built up and built up. And yeah, it, when when it when it's when he's heavily when he's heavily uh, has has three upgrades and he's rolling, it's so much harder to deal with because now you have multiple dice. You have to try and figure out what to deal with, what to what to do something with. So right, it's we're easy, just going to reroll there. Only his dice, but when the holocron starts hitting and um, the resources start building up, then you can play stuff. So, Bridget so Ray finally discard. rolls some damage. Yeah, she got... And, and, yeah, look, finally. Man, Trey, those rolls... Oh, I feel so bad for you, bud. Uh, so Bridget's going to make him discard. Basically just doing two more damage. Right. Which is the awesome thing about Palpatine's dice. Uh, you're getting value out of it as long as you can resolve it. So Looks like Trey's going to take a shield for Ray's trying to set her up for next turn's activation. And Bridge is going to claim heal one damage. Not a lot of damage been done so far, even with Palpatine. That sh those shields on that Ray Luke side are, are uh, yes, the, the shields out quite have a helped bit. a lot. Um, he's had a and Bridget hasn't rolled many damage sides either. Maybe it's, she it's inherited most, my mostly... my dice rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Poor child. <clears throat> so Trey draws up. He's got a Luke's protection, which is that new zero cost support. Um, has an action where you can place it on top of your deck from play to give a blue character one shield. So, this is pr particularly good to combo with uh, Qui-Gon, I believe, and uh, Kenobi's Journals. Yes. Um, because it will let you give Qui-Gon a shield to deal a damage. You can activate Qui-Gon with the Journals, use the Journals to draw the support Luke's Protection again, play it, and then deal another damage if he still has shields on him. So Bridge is going to take two actions off the four speed special. With her first one, she's going to do uh, looks four like damage. three or four. Oh, it's three. Yeah, it'll be three total with that lure power, and then two more from the Palpatine resolution. So, so that damage is starting to stack up. Yeah, and for her second action, she's going to take another resource, and which should also deal two two more. And. Looks like you may have forgot the two damage from the Palpatine. No, I think they did it. She, he did it. He, he split it one and one. No, so, from the second, her second action, she took the uh, the resource off of the second Palpatine die. Oh, you might be right. So, but again, new new player, and you know Trey's obviously not happy about what his dice are doing to him right now. So. <clears throat> So Trey's gonna hit Palp for two. Before that force push can mitigate those. Yep. So if I'm if I was Trey, I'm probably gonna be using that Luke's protection and then activate Luke to draw it again so I get more shields out. Yep. Which is a which is a pretty clever combo. And so yep, that's what he's doing. Give him shield up Ray. Give him shield to Ray. And even though Trey's been piling that damage on Luke... Oh, there's a second one. He <laughs> got the second one in his hand. <laughs> so even though Bridget's been... Uh, She's starting Trey, to Trey, some... Trey's been putting the damage on Luke, Bridget wisely uh, chooses her, her target priority when she finally does roll damage to yeah. go for Ray. So uh, it's good to see uh, a new player 
get their target priority straight. Cause so now we got Ray fully shielded up. Hopefully, I instilled in her the value of once you pick it, stick with it. <laughs> right. Because um, you know that, and a lot of new players once. You put three damage on Ray, and then next thing you know, you look over, she's folded, shielded, fully shielded right. up. It's very tempting for a new player to switch and, and change her target. But um, so we'll see what she what she chooses to do there. So now we know that um, Trey has two of Luke's protections on top of his deck, which is going to draw one off his Luke activation. Those reoccurring shield and a shield on Luke. Mm, those reoccurring shields. It's gonna drag out. It's gonna make it. It's gonna drag it out for Palpatine. So if you're Trey, do you use the Luke's protection? Because th he's not. You're, if you use the second one, you're not gonna be able to filter through your deck further, um, and you're gonna be stuck with two of them in your next hand. So he just got back. Oh well. Oh. He's gonna play Repost. Yeah. So now that makes sense. So. And there comes Luke's protection. Yep. yep. <laughs> Reoccurring shields. Hmm. That could be the new thing. And I, another card that I saw... <laughs> Other than Snap Solo, of course. <laughs> another card that I saw in uh, Trey's deck is Inner Strength. Uh, it's a new two-cost blue upgrade ability. It's got a one focus, a two shield, a resource, and two special sides, and a blank. And the special is move one damage from attached character to an opponent's character with no shields. So it's basically like a repeatable willpower. Yeah. Which is amazing. So we're gonna reset now. Um, I almost feel better if I'm if I'm playing Palpatine right now. I almost feel better taking that three three damage and not seeing three shields over there on Ray. Oh man! And <clears throat> Rise Again coming down. Oh, that she hit is it. Now does she such have a, a such a punch in the gut to Trey? Yeah. Especially since he he wasn't able to draw into any good removal having to draw those uh, two Luke's protections again. So that so might she, come back to bite him. Does she have a target in her graveyard? I'm not sure if she's discarded one or not. Um, Doesn't look like it. No. I still think you're okay there taking that five heal. <laughs> uh, with, oh, the, yeah, with the no, upgrade she definitely. does have. So, uh, yeah, that definitely hurt. Any, time, any player sitting across from Palpatine or Angry Babies or anything like that, you see it rise again. It's really disheartening. And oh. with the way the trays are rolling, she doesn't need her resources for removal. Right. Well, and and the fact that she does have uh, zero cost removal cards. Yeah. Plus force pushes on the board, so right. that that can help too. So a heavy light bow coming down on on Ray over there. Now I haven't seen her use power of the dark side. Do you think she forgot about it? Or uh, possibly. The situation just didn't come up. Uh, more than likely, she's probably just forgotten about it. Being a new player, but we'll see. So. Uh, getting look, the guns on the light bow, but Ray's die is still not helping think, Trey out I think Trey much. for Trey's getting a little tilted. And he forgot about uh, Ray's ability. He has sh oh no, now he's reminded. There we go. So and so we're just gonna resolve the two. So why did why did Trey lose the the shield that he had on Ray? Do you have to remove it? No, she resolved the two range from Palpatine, oh, so I he see, pinged it at. But the ability should have been resolved before she resolved that right. that range damage. So. <clears throat> so force restriction that's a good play on the resources force misdirection still such a great card yep and it would have been fantastic now let's see here if she to remembers have that light go a little sooner so you could force misdirect some range damage away if she remembers her uh power of the dark side now with two blanks showing over there so she's gonna doubt the heavy light bow with that's the two range that's probably the best you're gonna get yeah so and she's being punished for it. Three, yep. three damage. So instead of taking two, now she's going to take three. And now Trey's up in action. So. And there comes Luke's protection again. Man, so many shields. Yep. But, I mean, it's a lot of work. Yeah, it had, and it hadn't got him too far yet other than dragging the game out. Exactly. So. He's still not in a bad spot. It, his ray is very healthy and built up with some really good weapons. So Bridge is going to rejuvenate. And looks like Trey's going to take a shield. I would argue, I mean, I would argue that Ray is actually probably built up better than Palpatine is right now. Um, with her lightsaber, if she, if he would be rolling damage, yes. The way right. he's rolling. <laughs> uh, 
I feel like I'm sitting in that chair over there. That's usually what I'm used to looking at when I throw dice out. But, but I mean, that's the thing about Palpatine is that <clears throat> he doesn't need his upgrades to do, deal damage. I've done, I've won many, many games with Palpatine where at the end of the game, all I have is a, a four speed and a holocron that I never resolved a holocron special on. Yeah. So, journals have been Kenobi coming down, so he's going to be able to get a lot more shields yep. <laughs> this turn. If he uses the, the ability to draw into another Luke's protection. So, she has two discards showing. Um, okay, she's going to take two actions and just resolve the discard. And then Once again, not, not using her power of the dark side. I, I think maybe there, I think I use power of the dark side. Um... So Trey activates Luke, draws a card, and looks at it, which I thought was kind of funny since he already knew. Yeah, his, his uh, like he didn't know what he was gonna draw. <laughs> <laughs> so Trey doing the only three more. I I think Trey might have this game. Yeah, he's in better board state. So unless unless she can um, and just, just start and, rolling out massive and just damage. proving to people that. Shields are still good. Yeah. Yes, it's extra helpful in this matchup, but even against things like nines and uh, you know vibro knife decks, so why you can did... you can control that die and shields are still good. So why did Trey draw that back? He used the journals of Benton. Oh, the journals. Action. Yeah, he removed it to draw a card. Gotcha. So we got Ray fully shielded up again, and Bridget needs something to happen. I I don't know what that would be. Um, I think right now she just needs massive damage rolled out. Uh, I think she just needs to start seeing guns on the board. Guns on the board and maybe right. some Right, and with those, with those Luke's protection on the table, it's going to be really difficult. Uh, Bridge is actually not going to be able to mill him. Yeah. Uh, well, he, unless he, she... He can just unless, keep putting Luke's protection back yeah, on Yeah, Trey's a good enough player. He's not going to let her catch those with... Uh, catch him with those in his hand while she has discard showing. So, and once again, no guns. She does get a force push special, which will be very helpful. And a second, I, your eyes can deceive you. So she's gonna focus. Looks like Palpatine to three range probably. Yep. And Trey is probably going to play that heroism just so he doesn't have to take the extra two damage. Would make from sense from the Palpatine resolution. But that does leave him open to the, the two triple, discard. triple discard. Yeah, triple discard also. Yep. If he uses the so she uses the plus one. He is gonna do the heroism. I I think I, I probably would have rolled out and tried to hit the your eyes can deceive you. He's yeah. got four dice on Ray that all have a shield side. So did he lose his loose protection there then? Yeah, I think so. Yes. And I don't think. Oh well, he can use uh, return. No, return of the Jedi only works in events, so there's yeah. no way for him to get it back now, which is very painful. So now, if you're Bridget here, are you looking to use the Force Push Special or my powers, the power of the dark side, to re-roll to get damage or even possibly hit the blank? Or um, no, I would have kept the. So it looks like Trey forgot his. Your eyes can deceive you. Which it was whenever you whenever you have a support out there like that that has a uh, depends on a die roll. Yep. Now she's gonna use her it's power. Your, the it's dark your responsibility side. to to keep track. Oh, of that. she hits that blank for two unblockable to Ray. There we go. So. Not a lot of damage output from Trey's deck so far. Um, well, it seems like it's really it's been really good at stalling the game. Keep in mind, Bridget did have the the rise again. Yeah. Well. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah. There, there's the rest of that damage. So she's gonna take two from Ray. Just uh, Just Dwayner she... said that uh, Bridget missed another Palpatine trigger. Um, yeah. Again, that Bridget... just comes with being a new player. Right. So Trey getting shield, and then she uh, discarded to reroll. Got that two range damage on force push. So. Oh okay. 
So hit that shield and then did one more to Ray. Did Trey forget to draw a card? Oh no, he did. I see it. So at this point, I don't know with. I don't know if she should have. If, even if she has mitigation in her hand, using it right now is probably not the. I don't know. It's a very grinding well, game. Like she, so she has a deflect, which could come up useful if the light bow rolls ranged. I think Trey's getting pretty low. Yeah. His deck is getting pretty low, so he's just looking through his discard to see what he might have later. And I think she's I think she's missed two Palpatine triggers and that four damage is coming down uh, to where it would be very helpful right now. So oh. Luke Luke comes up a three and Ray's lightsaber comes up a two. So we'll that's see if we'll see if Bridget showing? has a response. Six melee showing on the board. Oh, can't deflect melee damage. Right. So I don't know if she has anything she can do. And if Ray is able to get a shield next turn, That's Palpatine's game. dead. Yep. <clears throat> oh, so he chooses to draw a card, maybe to reroll the light bow, or try to get something that'll give him a shield on Ray, defensive stance maybe. Yeah. Or Return of the Jedi to get Luke's protection, or oh, well, you can't to get a, a a defensive stance or something to that effect. So we're going to see... Choosing to resolve five, five damage, which takes Palpatine to within two. And Trey can still re-roll. Yep. Um, we'll see if he decides to. Yeah, it looks and like he's going to he try and re-roll the light special, uh, the light So all he, all he needs is... He has a 50-50 chance. Oh, but he got the shield for Ray. He that, did get the shield. That helps. But it looks like he's still... A little frustrated. He had a 50-50 shot to yeah. just end the game. Or no, I guess he because well, she, in, it, she claims. Yeah, heal. she claims so. So I don't know. Anything can happen right now on this Pal Palpatine rollout. Uh, it's, it's really close. Bridget, well, Bridget, I double think, aim. I think Bridget needs to roll. Yeah. She can't, she can't waste her time playing an upgrade. Yep. So if she hits that four speed, yeah, four speed that special, could be very helpful. Oh man! But it, well, he's he's not in, in. She didn't roll any range damage. Yeah, that is. She needed to at least roll pain, one range painful. damage. <clears throat> and also, she didn't roll the modifiers on lure power. She got that resource side. So. So you, you and Bridget have aim in your Palpatine deck. Do y'all have used the force as well? Um. I'll be honest with you, I don't remember. Uh, I didn't. I, I didn't see it earlier. So she's gonna doubt. Oh, got a blank. She's definitely happy about that. And Trey is not. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes you're dice now. She did not take her four speed special to do that. So um, she chose to not resolve her four speed special and just do that. Which is a good play because that'll let her aim and resolve. Right. Oh, so Trey is going to activate Luke. And I don't believe he has any cards left to draw. Man, Trey, we feel you. You just cannot roll, buddy. That, those dice are betraying you horribly right now. So, I think Bridget just does the discard. And yep, she she's going to take two actions, make him discard. And then for her second action, she's going to reroll. I don't know if Bridget realizes. Uh, yeah. yeah, Trey's letting her know. So. So. All right, guys. Well, uh, very close game. Uh, Trey sh Trey should have had that. Um, yeah. He was he had the position. He 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 should have had that game. He, Just could not get his dice to. He had Ray really. fully shielded up with some really good upgrades. He was controlling Palpatine's dice, but. Eventually, it just you know you know those discards, man. I there's been so many games where I've milled somebody with Palpatine. Yeah, uh, like you said, that the discard on Palpatine is uh, arguably the best side of his die. Um, 
I don't know, man. F- five <laughs> damage is five damage. Yeah, you know. But um, that was just a very tough game for Trey, just not being able to roll the damage that he needed right. to roll. And and <clears throat> ended up missing a couple things with his uh, Your Eyes Can Deceive You triggers. Right. Um, um, I don't I don't know what he could have done differently other than that. Unnamed Warsmith. uh Looks like he's saying so, Trey's a little salty. I'd be salty too with my die doing that to me, man. I'm not gonna lie, that that is so irritating right there. So, um, but anyway, so we'll be back here in a couple of minutes. Uh, we'll get the next round set up for you guys, and see y'all here in a few minutes.